Well, I'm on my way uh, to North Phoenix to go look at some solar panels. Um, I've been looking casually for solar panels for about five or six months or so, and some have popped up, and they, um, they're the right ones. So hopefully uh, they're in good condition and they test out okay. I've got my, I've got my voltmeter and, you know, some, some specs. So I downloaded, you know, what they're supposed to be at and how to test them and all that. So I've watched a, a few videos on how to see if they're good. And um, so hopefully, hopefully it'll work out and uh, we'll have solar panels. All right, it's nighttime. Um, we have to do stuff while our kids are asleep. So um, these are the ones we decided on. Um, like I said before, we've been looking for a long time. And yes, we could have bought solar panels almost anywhere that are 100 or 200 watts. But these are 435 watts each. So my goal at the beginning of this was to get somewhere around 2,000 watts, um, roughly around there. So, but with all of these, we'll get somewhere around 3,500 watts. So that's quite a bit of power. Um, so there are, I, I bought eight of these, um, and they are SunPower E20 modules, and they're supposed to be one of the most efficient modules. Um, they're about 80 inches by 40 inches, roughly. They're a little bit bigger than that. And the 300 watt panel I was looking at before were 77 by 39. So they're only maybe three or four inches longer and uh, wider, but they make, you know, 33% more power. So um, they're supposed to be very high efficiency as well. Um, they're supposed to be over 20% efficient. So um, we tested them all out. I'll do a short video on how we did that um, on another day. I'll just bring them out when there's, you know, right now they're not going to produce any power because we're at night. But um, we'll bring them out when it's sunny and I'll show you how to hook up a, a, a voltmeter and an amp meter and, and show you what the specs are on these and how to make sure that they're good. So we tested all these. The guy I bought them from was super nice. So um, anyway, we're super excited. So these are our panels. Um, this is, you know, step one. We've got our battery. Now we've got the uh, the solar panels, so now we need charge controllers and wires and all kinds of stuff, but we're getting there, slowly but surely. All right, just wanted to show you a quick view of the solar panels that we bought. So these are them. Uh, they are called SunPower E20. Uh, they're actually a commercial panel. Um, they're much larger than a normal panel, and they also put out about 435 watts uh, each panel. So um, the plan for these is to sort of line the top of the bus with all these panels. Um, and that'll do two things. One, it'll generate power. So um, we bought eight of these, so that should give us around just under 3,500 watts. So uh, we'll line the top of the bus and they'll constantly be making power. So that, and they might, we're hoping that they might provide a little bit of shade maybe for the top, even more in the, in, in the full sun. So maybe keep the heat off the bus just a little bit. So um, we bought these used, we bought them on Craigslist. As I said before, we'd been searching kind of casually for about six months uh, before we discovered these. So um, we got these and um, I'm going to show you guys kind of how to test them. So if you are wondering whether one of your panels isn't putting out power or um, trying to buy used ones like we did, um, we did a little bit of research and found out, you know, how you can test these and make sure they're good. All right, we're around the back. So in the back of the panel, there's this junction box, which has these two wires coming out of it. Um, so one is labeled positive, that's this one, and one is labeled negative, that's this one. So what we're going to do is use our multimeter, um, and we've downloaded the specs. So I had these when I was testing them on site with the guy, and they show us that the open circuit voltage for this panel is 85.6 volts, and the short circuit current is 6.43 amps. So we should get somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, it's early May in Arizona, and... It's about two two o'clock or so. So um, those probably aren't completely ideal conditions, but they should be pretty close. Um, the sun is really bright out here. So we're gonna go ahead and test these um, and we'll set them up on the rack. All right, so here's our panel in the sun. We've got it tilted up. Ideally, I guess it would be tilted a little bit more to get the maximum efficiency out of them. 
Um, but the first thing I did when we arrived was just kind of check the glass, check the frame, check all of the, sort of all of the cells. So each of the black squares is a cell. So you check all the cells, make sure there isn't any discoloration or anything like that. A lot of the times on the back of the panels, they'll have like an A, B, or C on them. And that kind of designates uh, an A panel is like top quality, everything's perfect. Um, they're, when they left the factory, they looked physically perfect and everything was tested and worked exactly as it should. Uh, B panels, from my understanding, um, work electrically perfect, but um, have some cosmetic flaws. So they are allowed to have maybe some dings in the frame or uh, some of the cells may be slightly discolored, but they should have the same electrical throughput as an A panel. Uh, C panels, um, from what I've heard, it's all bets are off. So they could have electrical that's off and or have dings and things like that. So um, these didn't have an A, B, or C on them. As I said, they were commercial and we're not sure if, if the same thing applies, but um, they didn't have an A, B, or C on them. So we kind of just assumed that they were kind of just factory new uh, when they were installed. They obviously show a little bit of, um, just a little bit of wear, um, nothing, nothing terribly bad. All the glass is good, all the frames are strong. Um, the cells, none of them had any discoloration or anything like that. So um, next we check the, the electrical. So we bring our leads up and again, um, this one is positive and there's a little plus there and this one is the negative one. So first thing we check is the voltage. And so, um, so we hook up the positive and hook up the negative. So there, so these ones right now, gotta make sure not to shadow it, are coming in at about 78 volts. Um, so we've seen that as high as 82 just even today, um, just while we're out here testing it uh, before we turn the camera on. So um, anyway, the next thing we'll test is the amps. So to test that, we're gonna switch our multimeter to amps and then we gotta change our leg um, depending on your multimeter but on this one you have to change your leg to measure amps um, so on this one what we'll do is we'll same thing positive goes in the positive and then negative comes here so we see this is putting out 5.2 amps 5.53 amps so um, at around 80 volts, that's about 450, about 450 watts. And now these are not under load, so that'll actually dip a little bit when you put a load on it. But there's a lot of power coming through here. If you look real closely when I take this off, you can see that there's, it creates quite an arc. So just, we gotta be careful just with anything electrical. Um, like normal, we just gotta be careful and make sure we don't cross things up. So that's an overview of our solar panels and what we're gonna do with them. Um, we're pretty excited about it. Um, just having 3,500 watts coming in all the time um, should be pretty good. I mean, it should supply our power. We've already bought, you know, our, our big battery, and so this should be enough to keep it charged and going. So we're excited about putting them in.